I had to be, the Christmas fairy. Part 2. I learnt that girls love a boy dressed as a girl. I found my wife that way. She loved to dress me up. What a Christmas I had when I was 15. My older sisters liked to dress me up as a girl and even take me into town shopping as a pretty girl. Although there was little, I could do to stop them. On the quiet I really enjoyed being dressed up as a girl. The underwear was so silky, and I did look a great girl in a pretty dress with makeup and a wig. It was Christmas, and we had put up decorations around the house and then we started decorating the Christmas tree with lights and baubles. Every year we put the Christmas fairy on the top of the tree. But this year we couldn't find it. I was so upset as it was supposed to give us luck for the new year. My sisters said not to worry, they would think of something. They certainly did, their present to me for Christmas was a Tinkerbell fairy costume. Yes, you guessed it. They made me wear it, complete with a blonde wig and makeup. There I was dressed up as the Christmas fairy for the whole of Christmas Day with my magic wand. I had to welcome all our relatives to the Christmas dinner dressed as a fairy. I was so shy, well I was a boy. The only good point about being the fairy was that my cousin Patricia, who was also 15 came with my aunt and uncle. She sat next to me at the dinner table and her hand went up my skirt and found my wand. Not the one with the star on. She managed to eat her dinner with one hand as she waggled my wand. Anyway, later in the day, she caught me coming out of the bathroom, with a big branch of mistletoe in her hand. She wanted a Christmas kiss from the fairy, I obliged of course, I liked her a lot. It wasn't long before she had found my magic wand again, she worked magic with it and gave me the best Christmas present ever. I learnt after that day that girls love boys dressed as girls. They seem to be so attracted to boys dressed all girly. After that I would always go to fancy dress parties dressed as a fairy, a princess, Wonder Woman, Snow White, or some other pretty girly figure. My sisters were still dressing me up as a girl until I was 18. But they were both into boys and they had other interests then. I must admit, I missed being dressed as a girl by them and going shopping. It didn't stop me though. I had the clothes, the wig and all my own makeup. So, on the weekend I would doll myself up and off to town I would go. I loved to roam around the shops and especially the girly shops. I would try on dresses, skirts, tops and anything else that took my fancy. I wasn't interested in boys, but I loved to have their attention looking at me as a pretty girl. Little did they know I was a guy. I had been quite successful at fancy dress parties when I was dressed as a girl. The girls always wanted to kiss me, and wearing a dress or skirt meant their hands would roam to a part of me that they were always interested in. I never got the same response, when I was dressed as a guy. One of my favourite costumes was a Snow White, that sweet little girl who slept with seven dwarfs. I always made the girls happy. Sometimes my girlfriends liked to go out for the night with me dressed as a girl. It was such fun, making out we were two girls out on the town. Guys would want to dance with us both and we would have such a laugh leading them on. I think they were attracted to my long slim legs as much as my girly looks. We never let it go too far though, we always ended up the night with us two girls snuggled up in bed. I wouldn't know what to do with a guy. Perish the thought. I was 23 now and life was good. I had an invite to another fancy dress party. A friend of mine Catherine was having it for her 21st birthday. I decided to go as Snow White, that was always a winner with the girls. As usual I spent ages having a hot bath and shaving all the hair off my body. I decided to stick my breast forms to my chest so that they didn't move. I now wore a C cup which suited my size and height. I put on some sexy black underwear. A little black silky thong and a matching bra. I had mastered makeup now after years of using it and I made my face up. I plucked and shaped my brows and marked them. I put false eyelashes on and put foundation on my face with some highlights to my cheeks. A dark pink eyeshadow and mascara on my lashes. A rose red lip gloss on my lips and a pair of small drop silver earrings. 
Lastly, I put on this long brunette wig with curls flowing down over my shoulders. I put some thigh-high white stockings on and then my snow-white costume. I look so pretty in the little yellow dress and blue top. I finished with some red sparkly shoes with low heels and some red sparkly gloves. Wow, how could I not fail to get a good-looking girl tonight? That thong would do it, every time, my short skirt flapped up dancing. I wouldn't say I was big down there, but I never tucked it away, it's what the girls like to see, a nice bulge. So, there I was all ready for the party, with my hopes up for a great night. I was soon at the party and there were some great costumes. I must admit, I was the only guy dressed as a girl though, and I was soon surrounded by Catherine and her girlfriends who wanted to see how good I looked. I can't remember how many times my skirt was raised to see what was underneath, I acted a bit coy, but I was enjoying the attention. That thong certainly did its trick. I had hands all over my bottom and my bulge as well. I had a cocktail with the girls, and I chatted to them about their costumes, their makeup and their hair. I spotted a girl over the other side of the room. She was really hot, and I asked Catherine who she was. That's my older sister Kira. She's a bit quiet she said. She needs somebody to pop her cherry. I thought it's not possible, she was such a good looker and she had never had a guy. Do you want me to introduce you Tom, or should I call you Snow White tonight? Tom will do, Catherine, I replied. So, she took me over to her sister Kira. Hi Kira, Catherine said, this is my friend Tom. He thinks you're hot. She looked me up and down with her bright blue eyes. Hi Tom, she said. Why are you dressed as Snow White? I just like dressing up as a girl Kira. It's a bit of fun. I must admit, she says, you do make a lovely girl. If you hadn't been introduced to me by my sister, I wouldn't have known. She was wearing a short tight fitting nurse's costume with a little nurse's hat. You look great yourself Kira, I said. Catherine was right she was quiet. But this attracted me to her more than anything. We sat and chatted for a long time and then she said, I like you as a girl Tom. Perhaps we could see each other again and go for a drink as two girls. This was not going to be a one-night stand. I wouldn't pop that cherry tonight, as much as I wanted to. We exchanged numbers and I said, I would ring her. We had a kiss on the cheek at the end of the party and I went home alone. All that night, I couldn't stop thinking about her. She was different and I liked her a lot. The next day I rang her, and we decided to meet the following weekend for a girly night out. She wanted me to dress as a girl, so that's what I would do. I spent hours getting ready, making my face up to look all girly with a short blonde wig. My breast forms were fixed to my chest, and I put on a pair of deep red thong panties and a lovely red dress with a built-in bra top with a lace overlay of flowers on the skirt. Some dark red three-inch heels and a gold necklace and earrings. I looked great, I love to look all girly. We were meeting at a restaurant for a meal and when she arrived, she looked fantastic. So, there we were two girls having a meal and chatting to get to know each other. We just gelled together so well, and she said I looked beautiful. I never expected that, but I liked it, looking beautiful for her. We had many dates after that, and I always had to go out with her as a girl. We would kiss a lot, but never did I get anywhere near her cherry. She preferred me as a girl. She never ever saw me dressed as a guy. I was falling in love with her, I just couldn't help myself. There was something about her which brought out that feminine side in me, that no other girl had done. I just loved being a girl with her, it just felt right. She started to call me Tammy when we were out together, and I liked my girly name. I had never got within an inch of that cherry, but I was just happy being with her and being a girl with her. We were out one day, and she asked me. Tammy, do you love me dear? I told her I did and that she was the love of my life, and I couldn't even think of being without her. Kira said, I love you dearly as well Tammy. Would you do one thing for me? Anything dear, I said. Would you take these tablets for me honey, she said. 
she handed me a packet of female hormone tablets. You make a beautiful girl Tammy, she said. But if you were a real girl Tammy, I would want to marry you. Would you take them for me and become the girl of my dreams? What could I do, I was madly in love with her, and I had always been a girl with her anyway. If I became a girl, she would marry me. I agreed to take the pills. The weeks and months went by, and I became more and more a girl. My breasts started to grow, and my figure became so much more a girl's. My own hair grew, and I got it all styled girly. I was a girl full-time now. I dressed and was a girl 24-7. The thing was I loved being that girl and my life with Kira was better and better. I even had to go and meet her parents and soon we were engaged, and we both wore engagement rings. Mine had a lovely cluster of diamonds on it. There was just one thing before we got married. Kira said I had to get my girly lips. I had gone this far, and I had never used it with her anyway. Her cherry was still intact. So, it was all arranged, and I was soon lying in hospital with my manhood removed and my lady lips. What more could I do for the love of my life? I was the girl she wanted and at last we would be married. We both wore wedding dresses to our wedding. Mine was white of course, with a modern look and a tight-fitting bodice with drop sleeves. A tight skirt with a train from the waist at the back. I looked fantastic as my mum took me down the aisle with my two sisters as bridesmaids. They said they always knew that one day I would be a girl. And here I am being married to this beautiful girl Kira as Tammy. It was a great wedding and when we eventually got to the marital bedroom. I saw that cherry for the first time, and I wasn't disappointed. Girl on girl is pretty good after all, I learnt a lot that night and I liked it. Who would have thought being the Christmas fairy would ever end up like this? If you like my stories, please give me a like, and subscribe to my channel. Story written and produced by Phil Gurley